Hi, in this video I'll be reviewing and showcasing the new version of uh, Motion Monkey. So Motion Monkey is a semantic player and what I mean by that is essentially a shift from the traditional media player based on file input towards a semantic player based on query slash text slash language input in order to find and access video content. On the new version of the, of the application, you'll find uh, two new backends. I've actually added the movie database backend and the uh, TikTok backend. So I'll be showcasing both of them. Um, here, for instance, if I'm searching for a movie, you can type Star Wars, for instance, which is a fairly <laughs> known one. Uh, you'll get uh, a list of curated uh, movie from the movie database um, platform service. And so from there, you'll be able to uh, click on a movie, whichever you like. And once you're happy, you'll be able to start the trailer just like that. When you hit uh, related here, you'll have the related track for uh, a given movie or a given TV show. And you'll be able to go from one to the other, uh, however you want. You have the navigation here, so you can go back and forth between video content, and uh, it's fairly comprehensive. Another novelty that comes with the, with the latest version of Motion Monkey is what you probably already noticed, that's a grid view. With the new uh, version of the application, you'll have a grid view. Uh, for a while, I wasn't too sure about implementing that, for the record, beforehand, we had this, which is essentially a list view. The advantage of uh, that view is the fact that we have more text, so it's more textual, if you want, and uh, I thought it fit better the semantic approach back then, so it's still useful in my opinion, but I'll also admit that sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words, and in the case of a video player like this, I recognize that it's useful having the cover from time to time. and. Uh, I've worked uh, a lot on that grid view, made sure that it was optimized and fluid. It's working very well amongst different platforms we're supporting. Uh, for the records, we're supporting a bunch of them. Uh, we're supporting Windows, uh, Windows Linux, uh, Mac OS, but also iOS, Android, and Android TV. That's a bunch of them, and it even runs on uh, SteamOS, uh, the Steam Deck platform. So here I'll, I'll be showcasing uh, TikTok. So that's a TikTok video. We're going to play that one. And uh, just, like that, just like that, uh, the, the video will start. While I'm, while I'm playing the video, I can request related ones here on TikTok. I could also ask for a more like this, which is just essentially uh, a global search across all the internet. And uh, recently, with the with the DuckDuckGo backend, I've implemented a new version of that DuckDuckGo backend, which is essentially the horizontal explorer for videos on the internet. You'll get videos from different backend here directly. And uh, in the next version of Monkey, I'm actually switching from YouTube by default to DuckDuckGo. That's an important shift because it means that uh, I'm confident enough, given all the backend we're uh, providing with the application, that no matter what you type in the search bar, you'll be able to find and play what you want. And so, yeah, I'm happy about that. Uh, so you have the TikTok uh, search that's implemented too. Here I can search for something, for instance. And just like, just like that, finding... Uh, video related to what I'm looking for. With this version of Motion Monkey, you have full Tvolution support. Uh, please uh, have a look at Tvolution. It's a very powerful Chromecast alternative. It's entirely open, the standard is open, and it works on computer. That means you can turn your computer into a remote television. Also, with this version of the monkey, I'm providing a Twitch support. So 
here you can look for whatever you want and you'll find you'll be able to search for live channels uh, playing a given content on the on the platform so sometimes these channels are ch these channels are not necessarily online but when they are you'll be able to find your favorite ones maybe if I, if we try GTA we'll find something online at this point and so that's an overview of uh, the latest version of Motion Monkey. Uh, feel free to install it, try it, and give me your feedback about it. Um, hopefully it would be useful for you, for your family, for your friends. Don't hesitate to spread the word. And thank you for your feedback.